Brandberg quotes from the Gebrobosep and surrounds in Namibia. Love this little guy. It's got a thin bit of matrix there. Furthermore, if it weren't for the matrix, we'd call this a floater. So the crystal is tightly crystalline right around. A lovely, lovely clear quartz. Now, um, what makes the Brandberg quartz so special are these little internal pockets, and they give the, the quartz a lot of fire. So this can quite easily be compared to the, the quartzes from the Swiss Alps. Has that fire, fire plus, and of course with a little bit of an abstract. Now, we talk of Faden Quartz. Now, when I look at this formation, it's not a crystalline formation, but it's an inclusion, which makes me think of going in the direction of the Faden Quartz. So, it's not a Faden Quartz, but uh, just puts that thought in my mind. Um, from a clarity point of view, lovely clear. I, I, I don't see any color in this, but there may well be tiny, tiny shots of maybe amethyst and some uh, smoky quartz quite typically associated. Now, first of all, I'm going to go through the, the top termination. So look at reflections there, give you an idea. Is there a little extra face there? Uh, yes, there's a little extra face over there. Across like that, there's a little extra face over there. Now we're going to turn it over. We're going to look at the other terminations. Ah, oh, there's more than one crystal here. There is some other little crystals. Let's look at the, the angles of the crystallization. Hellishly difficult to photograph these. They are so bling bling. I think they blind the camera and sorts. Do I detect some amethyst here? Maybe very, very slight on the reflection. Let's just uh, get this in focus. All the way from the Gebobosep and surrounds Namibia, Brandberg Quartz.